guys, right, we are uh, at one of the places where I started this YouTube channel, this is the Leaning Tower of Puxton, I think that was my second video that, that I made the, of this place, so yeah, it's nice to be back here, so um, yeah, I'm just out and about today and I thought I'd give a bit of reflection of uh, the, the, the channel so far and uh, yeah, what's going to happen next? Right, first off, thanks for all the support so far. You know, I literally did this channel on a whim. It's just, you know, I um, watch a lot of um, travel vloggers on YouTube. I find it quite motivational, quite inspirational, and, um, you know, I do a lot of exploring on my, on my spare time anyway. Um, and just sort of hit me one day so I will not just give it a go myself, you know, what, what's the worst that could happen. Um, so, you know, with very limited. Um, knowledge on video editing and stuff like that. I just started making videos and yeah, it's gone alright. So, you know, I started this a couple of months ago and um, already, you know, 120 subscribers already, which again, I, I know that's not that much in the grand scheme of being, you've got, you know, most YouTubers are into like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But the fact there are that there are 120 people watching my videos, um, yeah, it really means a lot. You know, um, people tuning in to like every video, leaving all these uh, really, you know, nice comments. Um, yeah, it just motivates me just to keep going. So to be honest, I didn't really. It doesn't really matter where the channel goes. I mean, um, I'm not doing this trying to make you know money out of it or anything like that, or you know, expecting thousands upon thousands of subscribers. I mean, literally, whatever happens will happen. Because uh, I'll just keep exploring and I'll keep making videos as I go because, yeah, I enjoy doing it. So the future plans now, um, I suppose for next year, I want to upgrade my camera equipment and um, try to aim for two videos a week. I mean, so far what I've been doing, I've just been like making videos and as soon as I made them, I upload them pretty much straight away. Um, so it's a bit sporadic with, uh, you know, the amount of content I make and uh, how often I upload it. I think the plan would be now is like a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, just get into that sort of routine, keep it uh, keep it steady, and um, yeah, see where it goes. So for next year, um, something um, someone people have asked is like, why are so many churches? Well, because they're local. There's a lot of history. They, you know, they're beautiful. Um, I'm not a Christian myself, let's make that very clear now. <laughs> I just want to make that disclaimer. I'm not a Christian myself. So yeah, if you wanted if you thought that was why I go to all these churches. I love going to um, like old rustic churches like this. Like this is the Leaning Tower of Buxton, you know, it's, it's got that quirkiness to it. And uh, yeah, especially with the um, <clears throat> especially with the um, Britain's smallest churches series I've been doing, you know, I love little quirky things like that, small churches or the biggest churches or yeah, when they've got a story to tell like that, yeah, it's fun, fascinating, and I've uh, got to check it out. So, next year is going to be a bit more uh, varied. So, I'll be, yeah, I'll be continuing checking out churches when I can. Um, there's going to be a lot more church ruins I'm going to be exploring, uh, thanks to a book I got from one of my siblings for Christmas. Um, and um, I'm going to be doing. Um, more hikes of course and on top of that I'm going to do some um, urbexing which is urban exploring that's something I'm actually really really into um, I don't do much of it abandoned places are quite you know not so much hard to come by in the UK but they're difficult to access so um, there'll be more of that and also as I mentioned in the uh, video with St Ishals at St Ishals um, is that something I haven't really gone into with this channel is my fascination with death. So what I want to do is do an episode on Britain's ossuaries. Don't know what an ossuary is? Go look it up or just keep watching and uh, your curiosity will be uh, satisfied. <laughs> also, on top of that, there's going to be videos on uh, Homestead as well because uh, that's something I really want to delve into a lot more in the new year. Um, I've got a good friend up in the Midlands has a allotment 
who's kindly set up an Alpharm Ponds here, and uh, I might be vlogging that as well. Um, another thing I thought about as well, um, I think is um, something that's been a lot of uh, explorers or nomads or travellers' minds is that the whole van life fad. <laughs> that is something that has come across in my mind a few times. I actually very nearly bought a van this year that I was going to convert and just spend more time out on the road tra traveling and exploring. Not sure if I want to go down that road, that's right, that path just yet because obviously it's a lot of expense, it's a lot of sacrifice. I'm doing, I didn't know if I'm in the right position in life to make that plunge. But it's still something I'm thinking about, about so um, whether or not I go down that, that route, we'll see. Um, also, on top of that, there's going to be a monthly episode where I basically reflect on um, the progress of the year, so as it goes along, uh, give advice for travellers, explorers, and people that just want to get out of their comfort zone in general. Um, I don't know what the title it will go by, I'm thinking no bad reflections, but I think that's a bit too, nah, a bit too uh, corny, so something, not, something like that, but not quite as uh, intense, I would say. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be definitely more active, a lot more going on. Something I haven't learnt since I've started this is that I don't like vlogging in groups because, you know, I think uh, when I was in Hungary, it was a good example of that, you know, I'll be there like making, you know, making footage and uh, yeah, my, my group was sort of like wander off and I was like, i got to catch up with them because, you know, I, I, I get it, it's a bit annoying being that guy, stopping, getting the camera out, making videos, chatting to the camera, you know, whether everyone else in the group just wants to get on the exploring, which is, which is fine. Um, so, when it, when it comes to obviously my hikes and stuff, and my travels abroad, that's usually with groups, so, um, we'll see. Um, I, I, whenever I've uh, gone to vlog in groups in the past, I always make the disclaimers like guys in my video, in, but even if they do, don't mind it, I still feel a bit awkward. But I think that's just, um, you know, I'm still getting used to this vlogging stuff, so, hopefully, it'll improve, you never know. Okay. I think that's basically it. Um, thanks again, everyone, for your support so far. Um, next year's gonna be better. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Get that count up. Um, as of this video, I'm at 120. Thanks, thanks again, everyone. Um, hope you all had a good Christmas. Enjoy the rest of the holidays. And um, yeah, see you in the new year. Cheers, guys.